Howdy, welcome to the second video on assets. In this video, we will expand upon the definition of an asset. In the last video, we learned the definition of an asset is probable future economic benefit. We explored the word probable and the phrase economic benefit in the previous video. In this video, we need to unpack the word future. And there's quite a bit to explain there for that one word. When we incur a cost, we have two options for how we can record that cost from an accounting perspective. How we record the cost depends on whether it is going to benefit us in the future or in this accounting period. For accounting purposes, we can either record a cost as an asset or as an expense. It's a little hard to think through this abstractly because when we think of costs, we often think of bad things, but when we think of an asset, we often think of good things. However, most of our assets cost us something. We have to actually pay something to buy an asset. Let's use a specific example. It costs us money to buy a building, so that building is a cost to us. The question we have to ask ourselves is will incurring the cost to buy the building benefit us in the future or only in this accounting period? The building could be a place we plan to run our business, like corporate headquarters, or a manufacturing plant where we plan to make goods, or a store where we plan to sell goods. Either way, assuming we plan to use the building in our business over a long period of time, then the building will benefit us in the future and not just in the current period. So that cost is recorded as an asset initially. We'll look at the building example in more detail in a future video. But for now, let's just think a building is an asset because we're going to use it in the future. We have another option for how to record costs that only benefit us in the current period. An example of such costs are utilities. We have to pay utilities each month to keep the lights on for the current month. We can't use those lights next month to help us generate revenue, so utilities only benefit us in the current period. Costs that only benefit us in the current period are immediately recorded as an expense. By that, I mean they're recorded as an expense in the current period. They don't start out as an asset and then move to an expense eventually. They just are immediately first time booked to an expense. The distinction between assets and expenses are important because expenses go to the income statement. Since expenses are subtracted from revenue to calculate net income, an increase in expenses results in a decrease in net income. So the more we subtract from revenue, meaning the higher our expenses are, the less our net income will be in the given period. In contrast, remember that assets go on the balance sheet, so they do not reduce net income at all. So if we incur a cost like buying a building, that goes into an asset account and doesn't immediately impact our expenses. Something really important to understand is that eventually, all assets either become cash, like accounts receivable that converts into cash, or assets become an expense, like with the example of a building. We initially record it as an asset, but over time we're going to move what's in that asset account over to an expense. So what I'm talking about in this video is just how we initially record those costs. In the next two videos, we're going to look at examples of how assets move from an asset account on the balance sheet to an expense on the income statement. In the first video, we'll look at a current asset example with inventory, and in the second video, we'll look at a long-term asset like a building that moves from asset to expense. 